This is me. I'm an ornithologist. That means I study birds. My research focuses on birds like the forest raven and the black currawong. This is me on Flinders Island trying to find these birds. But there's another bird that I study that I won't find here. Any ideas? Well, this is a picture of me in the field. And in my hands is a bag. And in this bag is poop. And that poop belongs to none other than the second largest living bird in the world. Yep, that's a bag of emu poop. So why on earth am I holding a bag of emu poo? Well, until recently, Tasmania and King Island had their very own emus. The King Island emu was particularly special as it was a dwarf species standing at only 80 centimetres tall. Shortly after Europeans arrived though, the emus went extinct, likely due to overhunting. So why does that matter and why should we care? Well, emus are really good at moving plants around the landscape. And this is because they basically eat anything and they hold things in their guts for a long time. So they'll eat fruit from a plant, walk a few kilometres, poop out the seeds, a new plant will grow, that plant will then fruit and the cycle will continue. But with their extinction, this function may now be lost from Tasmania and King Island. This is not only bad news for plants that need to move to keep up with the changing climate, but also for the animal species that depend on these plants for habitat. To study this, we've been collecting scats from emus at Wilson's Promontory National Park in Victoria. We chose this area because emus live there, and it's a similar habitat to northeast Tasmania, which is where we think the Tasmanian emu spend a lot of its time. In the field, we pick up the poop using plastic bags and chuck them into a big box so that we can fly them home to Tasmania. Once we have them back here, we can take them into the lab and pick out all the seeds individually. We can then visually identify the seeds to know what species the emu are eating. From this, we can guess what the Tasmanian emu may have eaten and moved around the landscape. We can then look at where these plants are now in Tasmania and use computational modelling to predict how this may change with and without the emu in the future. This work could assist the protection and management of Tasmania's plant species, but it could also spark discussion around the potential reintroduction of emus back into Tasmania. So this bag of poo in my hands is actually quite special because this bag of poo, as disgusting as it is, could lead to the conservation and the protection of several plants and animals threatened by a changing climate.